And here's the recording. We are, we are recording. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the uh, first session of the individual oils for Lennon Lara's essential oil training. Uh, we've got some housekeeping issues to discuss today before we get into the training. So the first thing is, is that several things have led me to, to the following. We are going to stop using the Zoom room. This is the last day we're going to be in Zoom. Tomorrow we're going back to webinars on air. And the reason for that, there are several reasons for that. Um, and uh, Bill, just so you know, I mean, while you're right that um, in Zoom we can do all the things webinars on air does, we can have a registration, we can have email messages, and et cetera. We can't do it with uh, anything near the cost of, that, uh, of webinars on air. Um, and I can go more, I talked, actually talked to uh, Zoom yesterday, and we can't do what we want to do. Uh, and I want to have a place where people actually can register, and I want to have a place where they get automatic email reminders on a daily basis, because people are going to forget. They're not going to remember to come here every morning at 8.30 unless they get a reminder. And so in order to really get that whole system working the way we want it to, we're going to go back to webinars on air. And I think... To be honest with you, I think all the issues, most of the issues we've had with webinars on air in the last couple of weeks are behind us. They were, they really weren't webinars on air issues. They were um, Google Hangout issues, and uh, I think they're behind us. It seems the platform seems to be running solidly, more solidly right now. So uh, I don't know. Can we put up in the chat the links for tomorrow? People are gonna, people are gonna have to register. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to put the I'm going to put the, the the registration links all over the place. Uh, can you access the chat, Laura? Yep. I yeah I'm accessing it right now. Okay, and so there's my link, uh, lenmooney.com/essentialoils, uh, plural. Morning, Robert. Um, and, uh, and uh, Laura's going to have a similar link, lauraslewinsky.com, Essential Oils. And, uh, and f the people that are on here, if I can remember all of you, I'll try to get you automatically added. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and put you in manually so you don't actually have to register. But, uh, but, we, but again, we'll be back on webinars on air. Any questions about that? So Robert, you missed the beginning of this. Can you hear me, Robert? Okay, I can't hear you. You must be muted, but that's all right. Uh, there comes Sue. All right. So let me repeat just one more time. Starting with the short version, starting tomorrow morning, we will be on webinars on air. We will not be in the Zoom room. Today is the last day we're using Zoom. I won't bother you going back through the, the reasons we've made that decision. It's done. Uh, and... Uh, we, we go back to webinars on air tomorrow, so you're going to have to register. You will get daily email reminders, and we'll be off and running. Okay? Cool. Now, Laura, do you have anything to add? Uh, no. Okay, any questions before we get off that topic? Okay. Before we go on to, the, to today's presentation, uh, I want to make you aware of something that I just became aware of about 45 minutes ago. So this is all brand new information to me. I'm still researching it. I don't have the definitive final answers. <laughs> I don't know that there are definitive final answers. But if it's true, it's pretty awesome. And apparently it's true. There's a, and, and the problem is just sourcing all the information. I'm going to go to a screen share. And before I, before I go into today's presentation, I'm going to share my desktop. And I'm going to pull up for you an article. I think I'm going to pull up an article if I can find it. Where, where is it? Ah, damning evidence that Young Living and doTERRA's essential oils are adulterated. Now, this goes back to a court, uh, a court case that's actually a couple of years old, uh, August 15th. And this article goes on, and you have to buy the article to get the whole thing. Now, I, I tried to buy the article this morning, and I couldn't get it. So I, I don't have all the information yet. Uh, it turns out, however, that there, there have been several court cases, and, um, and obviously not well published. It turns out that there's, there's apparently more than one, and there's been several lab tests 
that have uh, where people have sent in uh, essential oils from these couple of these other companies and had them tested, and they came back with proof that the companies were using synthetic materials in the oils, that they were not pure oils, even though they were advertised as therapeutic oils. Now, I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stake my flag on this one right now. In fact, I'm going to close that link and come off the, let's see if I can come off the screen share for a moment. Uh, oh God, here we go. How do I, how do I turn off the screen share without turning off the Zoom? Bill, help. Back to meeting. Huh? Back to meeting. I, I am, I am back to the meeting. Uh, I can't find a place to turn it off. Stop the share. There it is. All right. All right. Um, anyhow, as I said, this is all new information. Uh, this came to my attention, was brought to my attention about 45 minutes ago. So I'm a little, I'm a little behind in researching it. I, I couldn't get it all done before we started today, but I'm going to go ahead and research it. I'll have more information for you tomorrow. Uh, but if this is true, if it's true, and I've had a number of people tell me, oh, well, I'm already using doTERRA, for example. We have, we have something pretty potent that we can have them take a look at. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead with today's uh, presentation. I promise you we're going to have a 10-minute webinar, and we're already eight minutes in. So let me go back to the screen share. And where is the PowerPoint? There's today's PowerPoint. Share the screen. Okay. Today's oil that we're going to focus on is bergamot. And I'm trying to get the screen to full size. There we go. You got the screen? Full cool screen. Okay, you can see it. All right. Today we're going to focus on bergamot. As I said yesterday, at least for today and for the next couple of days, we're, going to, we're starting alphabetically down through the list. No right rhyme or reason, just where it started. What is bergamot? Never heard of it before, right? Citrus bergamia. The bergamot orange is a fragrant, fragrant fruit the size of an orange with a yellow color similar to a lemon. Now, it's got some ancestral background. Genetic research into the ancestral origins show that it's a probable hybrid with a couple of other fruits from, you know, maybe long ago. And as we said yesterday, people have been using essential oils for thousands of years. The extracts of this fruit have been used to scent food, perfumes, and cosmetics. The caution here, and we're going to caution you a couple more times in today's presentation, is that use on the skin can increase photosensitivity, resulting in greater damage from sun exposure. So, and again, excessive consumption can be toxic of the oil itself, perhaps not the fruit, but of the oil. As we talked about yesterday, we do not recommend consuming, drinking essential oils, any of them, for the reasons we talked about yesterday. If you're going to drink an essential oil, if you're going to consume it internally, you need to be under the care of a, of a, of a qualified healthcare professional, and that ain't us here. We're not, none of those. So this oil can only be used as a, um, if you put it in your, your uh, vaporizer or you can put it on your skin. Yeah, for you, Tricia. If you put it on your skin, it needs to be diluted. It's very potent stuff. So, Laura? Well, this is USDA certified organic bergamot. And the botanical name is Citrus bergam bergamia. The method of extraction is cold pressed. And the parts that they use is just the peel. Uh, originated, uh, the origin country is Italy. And how they cult the cultivation method is certified organic. And certified organic here means all the things we talked about yesterday in the, in the processes that, the, that it has to go through in order to have that certification. Uh, you know, no GMOs, no pesticides, yada, yada, yada. So these are, these are primarily grown in Italy. And they're grown in an area in a, in a city called Bergamo in Lombardy, which is where the oil was first sold, and that's where the name comes from. So it's derived from this fruit, which looks like a large, bumpy lemon or lime. It's a very mild citrus aroma, holds a warm, spicy floral quality. It's very nice, actually. 
And you'll find Bergamot's lemon life flavors are actually used in Earl Grey tea, marmalade, and the softy sweet and shower gel. But let me, let me make this point. If it's an Earl Grey tea or it's in marmalade, it's been redistilled. It is not a therapeutic grade essential oil at that point. It's just the flavoring from the fruit. You know, the fruit itself is not, is not necessarily harmful. Uh, but, you know, cold pressed uh, from the peel only essential oil that has been processed correctly is very, very potent. And so it has to be, it has to be diluted or it has to be put into a diffuser. Next, here's some of the uses of bergamot. Pretty extensive, actually. Whoa. So, yeah. So, aches, anxiety, nervousness, fear, hysteria, body heat, discomfort, fear infections, muscle spasms, odors. Oh. Yeah. Parasites on and in on the body? Yep. Okay. Sadness from changes in season, which in Michigan, winter is huge in this area for that alone. Um, skin conditions, blemishes, blisters, sores, and wounds, stomach acid, stress, swelling, tension, and urinary tract. So those are a lot of uses. And we're going to find that every oil we go through has a lot of different uses, which is one of the reasons it makes it difficult for somebody to cover the topic of essential oils in a single, single webinar. Yeah. There's some really interesting things here. Somebody asked me the other day, uh, so if somebody was having panic attacks, what would be a good oil? Bergamot. And you'll find tomorrow that blood orange is also a good oil for panic attacks. Uh, and of course, in those cases, you're going to put it in a diffuser. Whereas on the other hand, if it's a skin condition, blemishes, blisters, sores, wounds, you're going to put it topically on your skin. But remember, remember the precaution. You don't want to put this stuff on your skin full strength, and you don't want to put a lot of it on your skin and then go out and lay in the sun. It's going to hurt you. So, uh, so lots of uses for this oil. Uh, it also helps improve circulatory health, digestive health, euphoria, feelings of happiness, gallbladder, intestinal, liver, muscle, skin, spleen, and urinary tract health. So it has, a, it has a lot of uses and a lot of benefits. And of course, <coughs> excuse me, all these uses, all these benefits, for the most part, are going to come from running it in, in, the, in the diffuser. Okay? Precautions. We already said it, but let's say it again. Laura? Yep, bergamot <laughs> oil can cause burns when used on a sensitive skin that's exposed to sunlight. So you need to be really super careful about that. Um, you need to make sure that you're using it in diluted format. You're not going to try to pronounce that big word, huh? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> The I can try, but no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Phototoxicity. That's the problem. It's, that's the issue. It's phototoxic. So, again, putting it on your skin, going out and laying in the sun to get a nice sun tan, you're likely to have a, a nice burn where, the, where you have the oil. So yep. you, you want to be careful with it. Okay. What can you blend it with? It's particularly complementary with other citrus oils, but it can be blend, blended with carry sage, frankincense, mandarin, jasmine, black pepper, Cypress, geranium, nutmeg, sandalwood, orange, rosemary, vetiver, and yang lang oil. And if you look at our list of oils, we have many of these. Not all of them, but we have many of them. So if you want to, you want to experiment and create your own blends, you can do that. And that is bergamot. Now, <laughs> Larry to everyone. Laura is stifling his creativity by muting him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can unmute everybody. We can talk now. You can if, if, if you send her if you send her a power pop, Larry, she might unmute you. Great idea. Does anybody have any questions about today? I don't know how to unmute everybody, so we're gonna leave them muted. They can unmute. Yeah, you know, I actually I have a question. Okay. Is is this something that we delete with oil? I mean, all the time, or is this something? Is this is will this be good for that stuff if you just whip it in our diffuser? Well, you can whip it in your diffuser. That's no problem at all. 
And, and, and if I were doing, if I were you, and you wanted to start with bergamot, I would start with the dilution recommendations that we gave you yesterday. And if you don't remember what they are, I'll have the PDF file. Uh, we'll try to get the PDF, P PDF file up today. We're going to form a group uh, so that we have a place to tuck all this information away. Without a group, I don't know what to do with it. It's going to be spread all over the place. So, uh, but yeah, you're going to want to, you're going to want to, in the diffuser, you're okay. If you're going to put it on your skin, then it's got to be diluted. And you can use like the body butter or one of the other oils uh, that we talked about yesterday. I mean, frankincense, for example, uh, makes a good uh, carrier oil. So, uh, so that's what you want to do with it. Okay. And again, with all these uh, stuff, I mean, I will promise you that each one of us has a different sensitivity. Uh, what works for you may not work for me. I, mean, I can take relief full strength. It doesn't bother me at all. I, I'm, I've experimented with it. I have an extremely sore wrist today, and I put uh, relief on it full strength this morning. Yeah, I got to put some relief on my knee after working out. I just came from a, a workout that was more vigorous than I thought, and uh, I'm going to have to put relief and body butter on my knee today. So that's it. That's what we know about bergamot. But it, it can be mixed with other uh, oils, right? Yeah, it can. The diffuser? In the diffuser, sure. I mean, you, can always, you can always mix in a diffuser. And if you go back to the last slide in today's presentation, which I could bring it up again, but the last slide gave you some suggestions for which oils it mixes with well. And as we move you know, farther and further through this program, we will look at it. Didn't see? It, it uh, mixed really well with um, citrusy. Other citrus oils, but there was another list, like frankincense was on it, black pepper was on it. I don't remember the whole list off the top of my head of other oils that it mixes with. And, you, and this always mixes stuff in a diffuser. And this one here is, is the little roll-on things. It's got a metal ball on here. Right. And uh, that I got from Amazon. They're cheap. Right. But this is what I, I mix. I put um, organic coconut oil. And then I put relief in there. Yeah. It does work. The, the body butter is even better. Yep. I, I like, I really like the body butter. Do you, I, I got a question for you, Lynn. When you mix the relief with body butter, do you just put it, some body butter on your fingers and then put a couple drops on and then mix it up that way? Actually, I've been going the opposite. I take my body butter and I just go, blah, 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 blah but I don't stir. So the, the relief is on the top at that point. And I just then scoop off what's on the top. Okay. I've also done it the other way. I mean, I've also, I, I've experimented with relief and I can use it full strength. So I've, I've done it where I just drop some of it onto my skin, onto a part that I want to, and then grab a glove of body butter and just massage it all together. Okay. Yeah, I've done both. Okay, but you could take the whole little thing of body butter and put 10 or 15 drops of anything or a combination of things in there and mix it all up in there and... Absolutely. You create absolutely. your own whatever, you know. Absolutely. You can absolutely do that. No cost. But it will, I think it, it will settle to the top. So you have to have a little stir plastic, something that you can, you know, get in there every, if you don't use it for a couple of days, you got to stir it back up. Did you mean settle to the bottom? No. Well, it settles to the top. Sometimes the oil will, it depends oh, on the okay. oil. Yeah. You know. Good point, Sue. Yeah, so. Yeah, the reason I don't do that is because I want to keep my body butter for use with maybe other oils. I may not always want uh, a relief in it. I might want something else. Right, so you just put it where you want it, use that part, yeah. Okay. And I will tell you, for example, when I go out to the river and go water skiing, that I want lavender, because that's the one that I have found works best for me for insect bites. But then I, but then I usually use it full strength. Lavender, by the way, is awesome for insect bites. There are several other oils that work well for insect bites, but lavender, for me, lavender has turned out to be the best. It's just absolutely awesome. Len, you're a rebel. <laughs> why, is, why is that, Larry? Because you're using it full strength. Oh, yeah. Well, no, lavender's approved. When we get to it, you'll see. Lavender, lavender does not have the precaution that don't put it on the yeah. uh, But other oils, like bergamot, do. And the blood orange, we're going to talk about blood orange tomorrow, which is a really nice oil, really nice. Um, but you don't want to use it full strength, at least initially. You want, you want to dilute it. 
So, but once again, everybody's going to be a little different with these things. So what works for me may not work for you. The strength that I use might burn the hell out of you. You don't know. You've got to try. Start diluted. And then you know, if, if you want to and you don't react to it, then make it a little stronger. Okay? Awesome, everybody. Thanks for coming today. Now, don't forget, we're going to be on webinars on air tomorrow. I'll put up links and I'll splatter it all over the place out there, so hopefully nobody will miss it. Uh, but we won't be here tomorrow morning. If you click on this link, the link will still be active. Uh, I don't know how to turn them off, the links off. Maybe Bill does. But there's not, not going to be anybody here. You'll be all by yourself. Be all alone. Okay? Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, blood orange. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. End meeting. Here we go. Cool. End